This is Pam from Wood Camper Crochet Crafts. Today I have a really quick and easy crochet pattern for you that's definitely beginner friendly. These mitts are called the Tofino mittens. If you're familiar with my patterns, you know that all of my crochet patterns that I design are inspired by nature. These are named after Tofino on beautiful Vancouver Island. It can get really cold there in the winter, so you definitely want something warm for your hands. These are the supplies you'll need before you get started. I'm using Lion Brand Wool Ease Thick and Quick Yarn. If you don't have this yarn, you can use anything you have at home. You can substitute with any super bulky yarn. I'm also using a seven millimeter crochet hook. You'll need a stitch marker. And then I have two handmade tags. I purchased these from Amazon. You can add these to your mitts if you'd like. You'll also need a darning needle to weave in the ends and then a pair of scissors to cut the ends. These mittens are one size and here are the measurements. If you want though, it's very easy to adjust the size by adding or subtracting rows. Our first step is to make the cuff. So I'm going to start by doing a simple slip knot. I'm going to insert my seven millimeter hook. I'm going to pull it tight and I'm going to chain nine. So yarn over and pull through. That's a chain one. Yarn over and pull through. That's two. Yarn over and pull through. That's three. Four five, six, seven, eight, and our last one here is nine. So we're going to start in the second chain. So there's the first chain, there's the second chain, inserting our hook into the second chain from the hook. And we're going to yarn over and pull through all the loops on your hook, just doing a simple slip stitch. And we're going to do the slip stitches all the way across. So this is two, and we're going to do eight in total. So insert your hook, yarn over, and pull through all the loops on your hook. That's three. Insert my hook, yarn over and pull through all the loops on my hook. Four. Insert my hook, pull through all the loops on my hook. That's five. We're gonna keep going here. Six. Seven. And the last one here is eight. So I'm just gonna take a moment and pause here before we do the next row, and I'm gonna show you our slip stitch. So you can see when you're looking at the slip stitch that you have a front loop and a back loop, a front loop and a back loop, a front loop and a back loop. So if we look here, that's our back loop. When you turn your work, that back loop becomes the front loop on the other side. That is the loop we are going to be working under when we're doing our cuff. So just right there, right there, just that single front loop, just right there and right there. And you can see that one here, we are not working under that one. That is not the front loop. So if you get confused, once again, look at your slip stitch, find your front and your back loop. So that back loop, when you flip it over, becomes the front loop on the other side and that's where we're working. So we're ready to start. We're going to chain one at the end of every row and turn. So for row two to 30, we're doing the slip stitch, working in the front loop only. So there's the front loop there. We're going to insert our hook under that front loop only, yarn over and pull through all the loops on your hook to complete the slip stitch. So once again, working in that front loop only, yarn over and pull through all the loops to complete your slip stitch. So we're gonna keep going. We are doing 
eight slip stitches all the way across working in that front loop only. So our next one here is five and six. seven and then our last slip stitch just right here working in the front loop only and then at the end of every row we're just going to chain one and turn so in this row you can see it it's actually a lot easier to see that front loop it's the loop right on top here it's the loop that's the easiest to access I'm going to insert my hook under that first front loop, yarn over and pull through all the loops on my hook. That's my first slip stitch. And here's my second. If I get confused, I can turn my work around. Once again, identify that front and the back loop. The back loop is the one we're working in because it becomes the front loop on the other side. So yarn over and pull through. That's two. So once again, for rows two to 30, we are doing eight slip stitches per row. We're working in that front loop only. And at the end of the row, we're going to chain one and turn. And we chain one and turn for all the rows except for the very last row. Um, the last row, row 30, we don't need to chain one. I'll let you work on this on your own. You can pause this video and I will meet you back here when you've completed row 30. I finished my cuff and I now have 30 rows. Often when I'm doing this, I lose count. So the easiest way to count your rows if you've lost track is you can see kind of that arch and another arch there and another arch here and another arch here. So each arch is two rows. So there's two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. 12. So you can always count if you've lost track. I'm now ready to join my cuff. I'm going to take the two ends, so my last row, row 30, and line it up with my original chain. And I'm going to be working under both loops in my final row, and then that single loop in your original chain. So you have eight stitches in your final row, so you're going to be doing eight slip stitches to join your cuff. So there's the first one, that's one. And then I'm going to be going under both loops in that final row and line it up with that original chain. So just working under one loop. Sometimes it's hard to get in there. And we're doing a slip stitch. So yarn over and pull through all the loops on your hook. So that's two. I'm just going to keep working across here, working under both loops in that final row and working in that single loop in my original chain. We're doing the slip stitch, so yarn over and pull through all loops on your hook. So sometimes it's a little difficult. There's three. So I'm just going to Keep working on this and you can finish the eight slip stitches on your own and I will meet you at the end when you've joined your cuff. I'm just completing my last slip stitch here and that's eight. So I finished and I've joined my cuff together now I'm going to turn my cuff right side out. So I'm just going to pull that out and turn it right side out. And this is what your cuff looks like. I'm going to insert my hook again and I'm going to pull tight and I'm all ready to start row one of my mitt.
So I'm gonna start by chaining one. Before we begin, I'm just gonna show you the placement of your hook. So we have 30 rows in our cuff. So you normally would place a stitch at the top of every row. So if you look here, that would be the top of row one, and then there's the top of row two, and then over here would be the top of row three. Oh, that's still row three. And then in the next one here is the top of row four. And over here is the top of row five. And then all the way along. But when we're doing this, we're gonna be working at the top of every other row. So only at the top of 15 of the rows. So you can see here, there's that single loop. It's the easiest place to put your hook. So that would be every other row. So we're gonna be placing our hook, so not there, but just in here. So that single loop that's easy to get into. So just right there and right here all the way along. So because you're working at the top of every other row, that's 15 rows in total that you're working in the top of. So right here, just that single loop that's really easy to put your hook in. And now that you know the placement of the hook, we're ready to get started. So we're gonna start by doing a single crochet at the top of that first row. So insert your hook at the top of the first row, yarn over and pull through one loop, yarn over and pull through both loops. So there's your first single crochet. We're gonna stop and put our stitch marker on it. So I'm not making this look very easy, sorry there. Okay, here we go. I've got my stitch marker in there finally. So I'm gonna put my hook back on and that was our first single crochet. So we're skipping the top of the next row and then going at the top of the row after that and we're doing another single crochet. So we're skipping the top of the next row and in that next stitch there, just that single loop, we're going to do two single crochets. So there's our first one. And so we're gonna insert our hook under that same loop there and we are doing another single crochet in the same hole. So we're gonna do the sequence all the way along. So skipping the row, going in the top of the next row, and we're doing a single crochet. So skipping a row, going at the top of the next row, another single crochet. We're gonna skip the top of the next row, going in the next row there, and we're going to do two single crochets. So there's our first one. Insert your hook into the same hole there, and that's our second single crochet. So skip a row, top of the next row, we're doing a single crochet. Skip a row at the top of the next row, we're doing another single crochet. Skip a row and now we're doing two single crochets. So there's our first one. Insert your hook into that same hole there. And that's your next single crochet. So skip a row, top of the next row, single crochet. Skip a row, top of the next row, another single crochet. Skip a row, top of the next row, we're doing two single crochets in the same hole. There's one and there's two. We're gonna skip a row, top of the next row here, and we're just doing a single crochet. Skip a row, top of the next row, a single crochet. And then skip a row, the top of the next row, we're putting two single crochets here. So there's one, and then this is our final stitch in the row. That's two in the same hole. And we're all finished row one. We're ready to start row two. I'm gonna take my stitch marker out and you'll see that we never join the row. We are just gonna continue working in the round. So I'm going to do a single crochet in that first stitch. I'm gonna pause and put my stitch marker back on. So in row two, we are doing single crochets. There's going to be 20 in total. So that was one and I'm working a single crochet in my next stitch, that's two. 
So you can work on this on your own. So for rows two and three, you're doing single crochets. You're doing 20 single crochets in each row. And you can pause this video, finish rows two and three, and I will meet you back here when you're all done. In row four, we're creating the thumb hole. The instructions are different depending on which hand you're working on. In the video, I'm going to be demonstrating the right hand. So when you're working on the left hand, you will have to follow the written instructions. I'm ready to start row four and I'm doing the right hand. I'm going to take off the stitch marker and I'm going to place a single crochet in the first stitch here. I'm going to pause a moment and put my stitch marker back on that first stitch. So we're doing 15 single crochet. That was one. I'm working my second single crochet. So we've got two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and we have one more here to make fifteen. So I've just completed 15 single crochets. Now I'm going to chain three. So yarn over and pull through, that's chain one. Yarn over and pull through, chain two. Yarn over and pull through, that's chain three. Then we're going to skip three stitches. So there's one, we're gonna skip two, and skip three. So we're working in the fourth there and we're doing a single crochet. And then we've got one more single crochet to complete the row. And we've now completed row four. So for row five, once again, I am demonstrating the right hand. When you're working on the left hand, follow along with the written instructions. So I'm working on the right hand and I'm ready to start row five. I'm gonna remove that stitch marker and I'm doing a single crochet in that first stitch. And I'm gonna replace my stitch marker on that first stitch. So once again, we are doing 15 single crochets. That was my first one and my second single crochet. We've got three, four, five, six, seven, whoops, gotta fix my yarn there, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 
14. And our last one here is 15. So this is where we did our chain three. You can see there is our chain. We wanna make sure that it's nice and flat when we're working in our chain. And we're working in those three chains there. So just under that single loop. So here's our first chain working under that single loop and we're just doing a single crochet. And then make sure it's nice and flat. Find that next chain working under that single loop. So that was that second chain. And let's find our third and final chain. Make sure it's nice and flat, working under that single loop there. And we're doing a single crochet. So you'll remember after we chained three and skipped three, we only had two single crochets left in our row. So you can see them right here, our two final single crochets that we're working in. So insert your hook. We're doing a single crochet and then insert your hook into the final one here and another single crochet to complete your row. And we've got 20 single crochets in our row. And you can see the thumb hole here that we've created. So rows six to 12 are really easy. We're just doing single crochets and we're doing 20 single crochets in each row. So there's our first single crochet. We'll put our stitch marker back on there. And I'm doing row six right now, and I'm doing 20 single crochets in this row. So you can work on this on your own. Remember for rows six to 12, so that's the next seven rows, you are doing single crochets. You're doing 20 single crochets in each row and I will meet you at the end. You can pause this video and work on this on your own, and I will see you back here when you've finished row 12. So row 13 is our first decrease row. We're gonna take our stitch marker off here. Don't lose track of that stitch. We're actually going to skip that first stitch there. So no, we're not working in that stitch, we're working in our second stitch and we're going to be doing seven single crochets. So there's our first of seven. We're going to place our stitch marker on that first stitch here. So that's one. Next one here is two. We're doing three, four, five, six, and our final single crochet here is seven. And we're going to skip that next stitch. So we're skipping that one, working in our stitch here, we're doing a single crochet. And then we're going to skip this next stitch here, working in the stitch after, we are doing seven single crochets so we've got one single crochet, two, three, four, five, six, And our last one here to make seven. So we've got two more stitches after this. We're gonna skip that first one and we're gonna work in that final stitch in the row. Once we finish this row, we have 16 stitches in the row. So we're starting row 14. It's the same sequence except we're doing five stitches instead of seven. So there's the first stitch in the row, which we skip. We're starting in the second stitch in the row and we're going to do single crochets in the next five. So there's one, 
We're going to put our stitch marker back on there. And another single crochet, that's two. And three. Four. And our last one coming up is five. We are going to skip the next stitch. So there's the next stitch. We're going to skip it. We're going to do a single crochet in the stitch after. And we are going to skip the next stitch. So skip that one. Doing a single crochet in the next five. So that's one, two, three, four, and five. So there's two stitches left in the row. We're going to skip the next one. So skip that stitch. And we're working in the final stitch in the row, doing a single crochet. So we've completed this row and we now have 12 stitches in the row. We're ready to start row 15, which is our final row. So we're going to do the same sequence, but with three single crochets. So skip that first stitch, insert your hook into the next stitch, and we're doing a single crochet. So there's one. We're going to put our stitch marker back on there. And we're going to do two more. So here's our second one. And our third single crochet. We are going to skip the next stitch, so not in there. We're working in the next stitch after that, doing a single crochet. And then skip the next stitch, working in the stitch after that. And we're doing three single crochets again. Here's our first single crochet. And our second single crochet. and our third single crochet. Then we have two stitches left in the row. We're going to skip the next one and we're going to do a single crochet in that final stitch in the row. And we've now completed row 15. We're ready now to close the mitten. I'm going to start by cutting a really long tail. I'm going to grab my scissors and cut the end here. Better to have a little extra yarn than not enough. And then I'm gonna take that final stitch marker off. I'll take my crochet hook out and make sure I have a long end because I'm turning it inside out. I don't want to lose that loop. So I'm going to turn my mitt inside out. And once I have it inside out, I'm going to go back in there and find that loop and pull it through. I'm also going to go back into that hole and find the end of my yarn and pull that through as well. I'm going to put my crochet hook back on that final loop. So I'm going to take those eight stitches in the final row and I'm just going to line them up here. I'm going to close my mitt with four slip stitches. So insert my hook under that first stitch and line it up with the stitch on the other side. I'm going to yarn over and pull through all the loops on my hook to complete my slip stitch. So I'm going to do my next one here, insert my hook under the stitch and then line it up 
and insert my hook under the next stitch, yarn over and pull through all the loops on my hook. So that's two slip stitches. And then once again, insert my hook under the first stitch, line it up with the other side, insert my hook under the stitch, yarn over and pull through all the loops to complete the slip stitch. And here's my final slip stitch. Yarn over and pull through all the loops to complete the slip stitch. I've now closed the top of my mitt. I'm going to just take the end of that yarn and pull it through the loop and pull tight here to knot it. And once I've knotted it, I can weave in my end. You can see I have a lot of extra yarn. I didn't need that much. So I'm going to grab my scissors and cut some of that off. I'm going to grab my darning needle and thread the yarn through. So I'm now ready to weave in my ends. I'm going to work my darning needle under four or five stitches. And I'm going to just pull the yarn through. Then I'm gonna go back in the opposite direction through the same stitches, but I'm gonna miss that first stitch working in the second one there and then pull through and then I'm going to do this one more time so back in the same direction but I'm going to miss that first stitch go through that second stitch and pull through you don't have to go through all of them again I'm just going through two this time so I'm done weaving in my ends I'm just going to cut it here and I'm ready to turn my mitt right side out. There are more ends, you can weave those in on your own. I just wanted to show you one. And this is what it looks like at the top when you've closed off your mitt. Our final step is crocheting the thumb. You'll remember that we chain three and skip three. So there's three stitches on the one side and the chain three on the other side. So we are going to insert single crochets in those three stitches and those three chains. And then we're gonna put another single crochet on either end. So we have eight single crochets in our thumb and we're gonna start on this side here. So find that big hole at the end. We're going to insert our hook in grab our yarn and we're going to make a loop here. Make sure you have enough an end that you can weave in after and we're just going to chain one. I'm going to work in the same hole there, insert my hook and I'm doing a single crochet in that hole. I'll pause here and put my stitch marker on there. And we're ready to work down that one side doing three single crochets. So you can see the first stitch there, second, third. So I'm going to do a single crochet. So that means we've got two in total. This is three and four. So we're going to stick that in here it's getting in our way and we're going to find that big gap on the end there so there's if you look at it there's kind of like a big hole right on the end so we're going to stick a single crochet in there so that makes five and then we have three more where that chain was so find that single loop from the chain and we're working under that single loop we're going to do a single crochet. So that makes six. Find that next chain. And we're going to work under the single loop. And that's seven. And this is our final stitch in the row. Find that 
chain where we're working under the one loop there. And we're doing our final single crochet. So we have eight single crochets in total in row one. I'm going to take off that stitch marker. We're doing a single crochet and we're starting row two here. So that's our first single crochet. We're going to pause and put that stitch marker back on. So we're doing single crochets in every row. We're doing eight single crochets in total and we are doing six rows of single crochets. I'll let you work on this on your own and I will meet you back here when you are done row six. And I'll show you how to do the final row, which is the decrease. I'm ready to start the final row, which is the decrease row. I'm going to take my stitch marker out and we're going to do a single crochet in that first stitch here. And then I'm going to grab my stitch marker and put it back on. And then we are going to skip the next stitch. So skip that one and we're inserting our hook here doing a single crochet. And then we are going to skip the next stitch. So skip that stitch and we're doing a single crochet in there. And we're going to skip the next stitch and we're doing a single crochet here. And our final stitch in the row would be a skip stitch so we're not putting a stitch in that final stitch. We're now ready to close off the top of our thumb. We're going to take off that stitch marker and we're going to insert our hook into that first stitch and we're going to do a slip stitch. So yarn over and pull through all the loops on your hook to complete the slip stitch. And I'm going to grab my scissors and cut my end. I'm now going to take my end and pull it through the loop and I'm going to pull tight to knot. I'm going to grab my crochet hook and stick it through the thumb on the inside so that I can grab my end and pull it through to the inside. So we're all done here. I finished my mitt. I have two more ends to weave in, but I'll let you do that on your own. I'm just going to stick them in here for now. And this is what your mitt looks like when you're all done. You can also grab a handmade tag and fasten that on there as well. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. And if you want to see more free crochet videos like this one, please subscribe to my channel.